Greetings, friends. Have you ever had the experience of being out somewhere in nature, perhaps in the mountains or desert or some other out of the way place where there are no buildings, no street lamps, no artificial light to obscure the amazing sight of the night sky? You look up and to your amazement, you see hundreds, perhaps thousands of bright stars twinkling in the clear, velvety, dark sky. The more you look, the more you see. So you try counting the stars, but soon realize it is an impossible endeavor. Scientists tell us that in our galaxy alone, known as the Milky Way, there are anywhere from 100 to 400 billion stars. And that's just one galaxy. Due to amazing research with space telescopes, scientists now estimate there are at least two trillion galaxies in the observable universe, which together contain at least 10 billion trillion stars. Amazing! No wonder the psalmist wrote, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows His handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. And the wonders of space are just one aspect of nature, revealing the glories of God's amazing work of creation. Those who study the incredible world of molecular biology can testify to the amazing design found within even the smallest of living organisms. When we look at ourselves, we humans have multiple trillions of cells in our bodies. And even more amazingly, an adult human body is made up of around seven octillion atoms. Some claim that these amazingly organized and integrated systems resulted from unguided interactions among the atoms. But the Bible reveals a far more reasonable explanation. Speaking to God, the psalmist writes, You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. How wonderful it is to know that we did not simply evolve out of some slime of the sea, but were instead handcrafted by the Creator, God Himself. One way we can remember and celebrate our wonderful Creator and the beauty of His creation is through a special day called Creation Sabbath, which will be held this year on October 22. This event is organized by the Seventh-day Adventist Church's Geoscience Research Institute, also known as GRI. Let's watch a short video that will give us just a taste of what Creation Sabbath is about. Did you know God is an architect, engineer, chemist, and artist? It's easy to forget how amazing and complex nature is. But even the simplest of creatures requires elegant design and craftsmanship in every way necessary to survive. Look at this fish's textbook hydrodynamic design, which allows it to glide smoothly through water. God is also a master chemist, creating materials like DNA, the most efficient known information storage system. God's architecture is exhibited in coral reefs, entire cities built to withstand the constant pounding of waves. Creation itself is also a work of art. Look at how varied yet nuanced this beautiful Bermudian landscape is. If God so flawlessly creates in all these areas, His promise to make us a new creation must be trustworthy. Friends, I encourage you to visit the website creationsabbath.net 
where you will find multiple resources for planning a special and memorable Creation Sabbath event. In addition to the many videos, articles, books, and other resources, you will find a place to register your event so people will be able to find your church and celebrate Creation Sabbath with you. Creation Sabbath is a special Sabbath set aside to refocus our attention on the central theme of the Bible. Our Creator loves us, has earned salvation for us, and offers us abundant life. This is why Creation Sabbath is a special time of celebration, a chance to rejoice at what God has done, to praise Him for the rich gifts He has provided, and rest with Him as we enjoy the creation He made to sustain our lives and bring joy to those who know Him. We're invited to be like the sons of God who shouted for joy as the creation week unfolded. I encourage you to join your worldwide church family this year in celebrating Creation Sabbath. Let's pray together just now. Father in heaven, thank you for creating this earth. Thank you for creating us. Thank you for creating the seventh day, the Sabbath, to help us to remember you are the creator. You are the one in authority. You are to be worshiped. Thank you for letting us proclaim this message in the first angel's message of Revelation 14 and proclaiming the second and third angels' messages, helping people to return to the true worship of God. Now, Lord, bless each church, each area as they focus upon creating a memorable and wonderful Creation Sabbath on October 22. Thank you for hearing us in this prayer and thank you for the promise of your soon return. In Jesus' name we ask it, amen.